It was the 28th of October, Sunday 2012, when Zambia witnessed the tragic death of the five men who were buried alive after part of the earth caved in. The five men were contracted as casual workers by a company called SBCC Construction and met their fate while working on a sewer line in Lusaka's Ibex Hill. With police announcing the summoning of the owner of the SBCC company, it has also amazed that the police call-out was also part of the arrangement of the funeral grant to the bereaved families. The bereaved families were offered 4 million kwacha, which has come with a total rejection from the mourners' representatives. Mr. Kapokulo Musenga is the father to one of the deceased. We cannot allow this situation to continue like that. So we are here. We are still angry. From Sunday when the people died to today, people are gathered at the funeral houses. What are they eating? They are waiting for us to take the bodies there for burial. They have got no food. They have got nothing. So this is the biggest problem we have faced. We are now trying to see, to seek audience with the district commission for Lusaka to see if he can help. The deceased have been named as Arthur Piri, Warren Mumba, Kangwa Mulonga, Gif Chileshe and Vincent Musenga. The mourners have threatened to refuse to bury their late family members if their demands are not met. As a, as a contractor, because those people we are not passers by. They are his workers that you have to take responsibility in whatever had happened at the working place. So we demand that if he cannot top up the money, then let him uh, source for transport to transport the, the bodies to copper belt and feed the mourners and then buy coffins. We need him to come here so that we can make things faster. We go and bury our dead because we are not happy. We are really crying. We are grieving. We have lost our loved ones. So let him come. If he's able to come, let him top up the money. Or if he's unable to top up the money, let, uh, let, 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 let him provide for the coffins and transportation. So that four million which he gave us, we can uh, do on the logistic part. At the funeral house of the only Lusaka-based worker, they have their own demands to the relevant authorities. Nemaiwake wamana nulida ngoda fikire ula ndala amaso ni ngono yamena pasa bantu tipempako bachivalo cha chimgodi batavutika ise kunu awe ne nipempako mwandi government is wevochita pa family vachitika mwandi lo ni bana bangono mwenzo kam chimgodi chakuto nasiza ma school last year grade 12 I'm standing is a trench that has since been buried but this is a place where it claimed five lives. Now it has brought its own challenges. As the members of the family are now crying for more compensation to be made. But one thing remains for sure, among the eyes and the ears of the residents and of course people of Zambia, is that this place will forever remain a true reflection of how safety standards have to be applied in any construction site in Zambia. Alexander Msogotwani, Movie TV News in Lusaka.